bro, you probably don't know. I, I, I know this. Ronald is my like my um my like one of my mentors for real, right? Uh huh. And he told me the story guy. when he first like kind of met you and y'all was about to work. Mm -hmm. He said, I guess he had actual question like, bro, are you in the streets? Mm -hmm. And you was like, nah, mm -hmm. not. Uh huh. But like everything about you says in the streets. Cause who is you the police? <laughs> 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 no real. No, like what? Yeah. So, but you, but he said like nah, and he started working with you, and he seen that you was you was real though. Mm -hmm. He was talking like you was telling the truth. Mm -hmm. But so many rappers are still got one foot in and one foot out because they trying to get the money to do this. Yeah. You are somebody that's completely legit now. Mm -hmm. like we see. Right. I was I was just curious just from a, a that that motivation to the young rappers like mm -hmm. how important was that for you to get out to get all the way out the streets and have and, and be focused strictly on his music you're gonna wash yourself up trying to dibble and dabble you trying to you know what i'm saying one foot in one foot out i understand them though like at a, at the beginning level because it's like the way this shit set up i don't even really want to say it because mm -hmm. it's just like i don't want to motivate nobody to do the wrong thing but it's like the way this kind of set up is like Sometimes we gotta do wrong to get right. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But the first chance you get that, shit, leave that shit where it's at, cause you you ain't gonna do nothing. But you are gonna wash yourself up trying to. Let me ask you this then, cause I like what you just said. Like I don't want motivate to do wrong, but if it's a, cause we only could talk to who we could talk to. If it's a that's trying to do right, mm -hmm. but he feel like he don't have no choice. He still gotta be in the streets to get the money or whatever. Everybody always had his exit plan, but they. They, it's like they take their time. Like, how you going to fund you, your music? How the, how you going to fund your music career working at McDonald's? It's hard as fuck. Hmm. But I guess, it can, you, I guess you can do it. That's not, I don't, I don't really understand it from that lane because that's not my, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. How do you get that? How do you get to a level where you can stop though? Like, how, what, if you had to give advice to, to, to stop, how do you get there? Just believe in yourself. Just believe in yourself. Like, I feel like... No, give me some real... No, I'm giving you... No, this real... Like, you ain't gonna never feel like you got enough money to be like, fuck that shit. You ain't gonna never feel like it's enough. But if you believe in yourself and, and, and look at the people around you and just see, like... See, this is what I did. I look at all the people around me and I, and I notice how many people depend on me. So now I'm like, I'm in a selfish stage if I fuck up or do something wrong. It ain't even just for me now, because if I fuck up, I know I take care of my mother, I take care of this person, I take care of that person. You feel what I'm saying? So now I'm in a I'm in a selfish stage where though I throw this shit away over some bullshit and being greedy. You get what I'm saying? Mm. So just look at all the people who. Nah, I see that, but I'm just still trying to play devil's advocate because some feel like I mean that's really paying the bills. I can't quit. Like this music. Ain't bringing enough money for me to pay my bills. You gotta bite down. You gotta go at this. You gotta go at this. That's what I did. I went at this like, and it just like I. But at the end of the day, like like I said, it's God timing. It just worked out for me. Like that, it happened for me. Mm. Whereas I started getting booked for shows. I started making money off streams. But it don't happen for everybody. Mm. It don't happen for everybody, and that's just the sad truth. Knowing that though, right? And knowing you came from that, do that. Like it's a billion people trying to do the same exact thing. Mm -hmm. Everybody can't get it. Majority can't get it. Mm. Like how many people can really be successful rappers? Not even just like, I'm talking about just make enough money off of rap to feed their family. Most, it don't, it don't happen for most people. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And some people was good, like really good at what they did. Do you ever look back and like it's, what they say, like survivor's guilt almost. Like, do you, knowing that and knowing you came from that, do you ever look back and feel bad for the n that, that was really talented but couldn't, couldn't get it? Now that you say that. Especially the people we know or people come from. I definitely look, I definitely look back at some people like, damn, I wish he could have caught his break like mm -hmm. fire. You know what I'm saying? And the thing with this, you can't make nobody catch their break. You can do a feature with them. You can do anything. That don't matter. Mm -hmm. That should be. It's a higher power. That shit ain't, it don't got nothing to do with us.
Yeah. I know you know some artists in the city where you like, man, this he crazy. Like, Hell yeah. It's a lot of them. Shout out to my guy Mike Even. I'm a, every time I get a chance, I, I I use this platform to to, to to highlight them. What's his name? Mike Even. He wanted a night, he nice. Bro. Yeah, it's a, it's a lot of them though. Yeah. A lot of but them. it's what happened is it's funny because what you what you what you think the problem is? I'm gonna tell you. I think it's more than just not everybody a J. Cole. Mm -hmm. And I feel like it's harder to be a J. Cole than just to be a rapper in general. And what I mean by that. It's like, look at, let's say Sexy Red. Mm -hmm. Me, per, I don't think she's the most talented, but she got the package. Like, she know what to say. She know her demographics. She know how to say it to get, to get their attention. Mm -hmm. She market herself to them. So you don't think it's another Sexy Red out there with the package too that just, it's some Michael Jordans that just ain't go to the league. Because I just, it's more than just working. It's more than just, it's more than just being talented. It's mm. more than just looking good. Like, mm. you got to put that shit together, and they say success is... So you think everybody who put that shit together going to get their break? That should be who you know. Yeah. Who you bump heads with. Like, it's just be... It's a lot. That It's just a lot. I am a fair believer in if you don't stop. So, for example, mm. I'm not the most popular. Mm -hmm. But I tell you, I'm probably one of the most persistent ever. Yeah. Like, I'm not stopping. Like, unless you say no... You bro, stop texting me. I'm not stopping. I still don't think you stop. <laughs> <laughs> Real shit. like I'm not stopping. Jay Hill be on some shit. Like so, it's like if you can keep the endurance, mm -hmm. you bound to make it. And like I like I was saying, I'm not the most popular. So okay, cool. I know I ain't about to put out one video or do a million every time. Mm -hmm. Cool. I'm gonna put out a hundred more videos, and we gonna get the million. I'm gonna mm -hmm. get there. It's a mindset thing. I really think yeah. it's a mindset thing. It's like yeah, I don't have that, but some. Be complaining like I don't got it. They they crying like, uh, no. Nah, okay, cool. I ain't gonna get a million off one view. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do one interview. I'm gonna drop it. I'm gonna piece this mother twenty five times. Yeah. And we gonna get the numbers. So finding your niche, basically. Find that mother. Yeah. I feel like it's timid.